Hi, this is RG from News5 Digital, and this is News5 Talk with Dad Sunday. Hi, Dad. How are you doing? This is my boy, Chris. Hello. Um, today, my, my throat is a little, a little rough, mm -hmm. so in case I can't talk. I'm going to send it. He's going to send it. You're a good friend. <laughs> and um, I believe this is the first time you know that, right? This is. Uh, how was your stay so far? It's been amazing. Uh, the hotel that they put me in mm -hmm. is so big. I don't even know what to do with myself in there. It is like a, a house. The view is incredible. Um, it is extremely humid. But yeah, we've just kind of been walking around, looking at places like it's, it's a really, really cool city. Have you uh, seen the city yet? Or uh, you're still uh, just uh, trying to get into the show? We haven't seen much of the city. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll probably be, I will be here for a couple more days, so we're gonna go look around a little bit. And uh, what do you look forward to eating your eating pants and uh, before you uh, I kind of just am looking forward to the whole performance. Like I just, you know, I haven't been here. I, I'm excited to show them some songs, a, a couple unreleased songs as well. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be really cool. Just really exciting. And uh, we've seen uh, your whole on Instagram and uh, you said that, uh, well, on your profile, you said that uh, you're happy that who loves the right text. Yeah. What, what, what's it about sad songs that you have to do with writing sad songs? Um, I think I'm a, I, I think I'm a pretty emotional person. Um, I don't know, I just, like, I feel like I naturally gravitate towards the sadder songs. But, I don't know, I, what do you think? I, I have a lot more than just sad songs too, especially on released. I think a lot of the times the sad sometimes is inspiring because it's, like, it's such a good release. And sometimes when you're happy, you maybe don't need as much of that same release, but the sadness definitely brings it out. There's a certain connection. Yeah, exactly. And it's such more of a visceral feeling. And uh, when you put your songs out there, especially on the um like, there's a certain following that's super uh, solid uh, for your fans. Um, they've been with you since uh, the days that we're just going to take off, and now you're touring in Asia. And you're in Manila now, and uh, how, how would you describe uh, the, uh, the time journey so far? Oh, very fast. Um, man, it, it's been really crazy for me. I, I didn't even you know I could sing until like three years ago. I didn't start writing music until two years ago. And it's just, yeah, it's been a lot very quickly. I've seen a lot of the world. Um, but like, it's very exciting. It's just cool to be on this roller coaster and see where it goes and see where it takes me and to meet, you know, like incredible people and incredible musicians and just, yeah, it's like, it's a dream. It's a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work, but um, but it's it's pretty cool. And um, given that kind of such time, good work. What are you praising for your voice quality for the kind of uh, music that you put out? Um, what's your reaction to uh, the praises you got from Billboard from other magazines? Um, I mean, it, it's. I feel very honored because I know there's a lot of incredible musicians out there and the fact that they took time to notice me is is very special. But um, I don't know, I I try not to think about that too much because I, I know there's a lot of really, really talented singers all around the world. And I'm not I'm not one of the best, I just can sing. I just you know, I just am trying my best. So I just try and focus on the music that I write and the things that I'm doing and perfect my craft. And that's kind of all I can do. And it pays off as uh, you've traveled in different, different countries. And uh, as we speak, uh, there's more than a billion streams. And uh, uh, what's your reaction to that kind of uh, success? Three more countries and uh, more than a billion streams. I, I don't think I can really process that. Like, I don't, I don't think I've been able to actually think about how many people that is yeah it's just i don't know 
I don't even know what to say. It's, it's just like, it's crazy. It really is. And like, hearing those numbers is so wild to me because I can't be everywhere at once and I can't it's see you old fans. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just, it's wild to think that there's that many people that have heard my songs. Some of them are your Hindu fans. And um, uh, on our channel, we call them Kapatidle, um, brothers and sisters siblings. And uh, if you would delight us, um, uh, if you would invite them, um, our Kapatids, to check out your music, check out uh, your gigs, and uh, everything you wanted to share. Like you can address the camera and then talk to our Kapatids. What's up, Kapatids? It's Benson Boone, and I am just here um, in the Philippines performing tonight. I'm very excited to meet you all. But I have a lot of new music coming soon and I would love for you guys to hear it. I would love your opinion. Um, but most of all, I love your support and I appreciate that so much. So I will see you soon. I'll be back soon doing a show, but I love you guys.